Welcome to our daily hovers. I'm Economicon, and today we're going to be playing for the game Control. We're in an attempt to escape, and we've got two voices in our head, both of which are giving us conflicting advice to get out of life. The twist? Well, both of them actually want to kill us. Two years ago, it happened. I lost my right hand. A fully functional prosthetic was made to replace it. A prosthetic which is uniquely designed to have direct access to my mind. Apparently, my mind is a valuable asset, more so than I ever could have imagined. And now, I'm here. Where, you ask? The answer is... I don't know. I've been locked up here for at least five hours already. I have to start thinking of a way to get out. Why am I here? I don't know that either. I honestly don't remember anything more than the bare facts. I was walking to a club with my friends. I didn't want to go, but I didn't want them driving drunk either. They wandered off and left me alone at the bar. I drank a glass of water. That's the last thing I remember until I woke up here. Why? I don't know that either. All I know is that I'm getting hungry and tired and I want to get out. But I don't have any resources. So what should I do? Okay, so I can either look around or stay seated. Wait, but you know what? I don't feel no like we should just stay seated. I think we should be proactive and trying to escape. So let's look around. It's awfully dark in here. But there's nothing I can do about that. So let's see. What's this? Ow! Well, whatever it is, it's sharp. Ooh, possible weapon. We should keep hold of it. A knife. It's a knife. Oh, we should definitely keeping hold of this. I was hoping for something more obvious, like a key, but maybe this can help me get out of here. Speaking of which, is there actually a door? The walls are very flat. I know that probably sounded stupid, but what I mean is that they're not textured. They're smooth and cold. I guess they're made of concrete. I'm working my way around them now. But I don't feel anything like a door. The walls are smooth and uniform. Oh, is there going to be like a trap door ahead, over ahead of us? The room is square, about 10 meters on each side. I've been all the way around. Nothing. There's no opening. That means there has to be something either above or below me. Which should I try? Well, I don't know. Try to figure out how to look at the ceiling. Maybe we should look on the floor. And then, worst case scenario, that fails, we'll look on the ceiling. This is easy. All I have to do is use myself like a human mop. Wait, are we just gonna like, chuck ourselves down and flop around until we feel something? I, I, I try it. Do it. I dare you to do it. And mop the floor. Well, there's not a door exactly, but there is a dip in the floor. It's not light enough to see what the dip might actually be. Maybe the builder just did a terrible job making the floor level. But anyway, it's there. There's definitely no trap door or anything. I guess I'll look elsewhere. The only other place to look is the ceiling. How am I going to get up there? There's no furniture in here. Although... Why didn't I think of that sooner? My prosthetic has lights on it. Your prosthetics has lights and you're only now remembering that. We've been using ourselves like a human mop to film around for a trap door and we actually have lights. I am judging you so hard. I'm a real idiot. Yeah, you said it. I could have used that the whole time. It won't be very bright, of course, but... Now I can see a little bit. What about that dip in the floor? Oh, I see. It leads to a little drain. I'm surprised I didn't feel that drain. 
but it is exactly flat with the floor. I guess that doesn't help me out very much. What else is here? Other than that knife, there's absolutely nothing. So what now? I can't eat the knife. I'm not exactly a sword swallower. Looking at the wall again, I still don't see a door. Look up. Looking up. Oh! That's how they got me in here. Whoever they are. There actually is a trap door in the ceiling. Well, I mean, with personal elimination, there was going to have to be unless they built the wall around you. In which case, if they build it around you, we're not getting out at all. There's no way for me to get out there. The walls are too smooth for me to climb. And there isn't anything I can use to get up there. You sure you've not got any funky gadgets in your arm? You've got lights. This drain in the floor. Well, there's nothing else in this room. So maybe I should look there again? There's a bit like one of these public bathroom drains. Small and screwed to the floor. But... I might be able to get it loose with a knife. No idea if that's a good use of my time. And the knife might break. I guess it's worth a shot though. What? <laughs> it's not actually a drain. It's a cover for an electric wires and stuff. And there's a switch. If I flip the switch, who knows what might happen? But who cares? Yeah, at this point we're trapped, so we might as well do it. We'll leave a die or escape. I think it's worth a shot. Flipping switch now. Whoa. It's loud. I was hoping for lights. Not all this noise. So what's going on? Left speaker. Arlene! Don't reply. What? If you speak. Don't listen! Don't speak. Where are these voices coming from? They're very mechanical. Apparently I somehow enabled them when I flipped the switch. Well, now I have a hard choice to make. One of them said to speak, and the other said not to listen. Should I say something or no? Okay, wait, 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 look, it said don't speak and don't listen. You know what, we're gonna say something. Don't bother trying to escape. It's good to hear your voice. That helps us analyze your syn synapses. Which in turn helps us learn how to best control you. You will be our tool. A grand scientific experiment. It's my honor to be the first to tell you. Wait, oh, that's me. A scientific experiment? This conversation has been excellent so far. In fact, the sound of your voice was all we needed. Thank you, Arlene. The transformation is complete. No, stop, who are you? Oh no, have I already killed me? Oh no, I've done a bad thing. This will hurt just a little. No, no, please stop. And then everything should fade to black. There's no need for you to see anymore. Wow, I failed really easily. Okay, I'm back and now I'm gonna say nothing. I'd better listen carefully before I say anything. Maybe I can figure out what's going on. If you speak, don't listen! I'm about to get really frustrated. I wish there was some way I could communicate. They'll control. Don't listen! Your hand. My hand? What about my hand? Could someone please explain? They locked you up! But if you were really on her side, you could get her out, couldn't you? Let's face it. You want her to stay locked up. Arlene, I want to set you free. Free? Free of this box, but not free from you. The voice you hear on your left is your enemy. They locked you up. And the voice you hear on your right is your enemy. 
they want to force you to escape so that they can control you. Control me? They'll use your hand to control your mind. Right. Right. So they both want to control me. Use my hand to control my mind. What does that mean? This hand... We locked you in here to keep you safe. We want you to escape so you can be free of them. Who? Which voice makes the most sense? Don't speak. If you speak, they can analyze your voice. So what? Analyze? It's okay to speak. You can ask questions if you want. So who's telling the truth? Err on the right side of caution. We'll get these questions answered. Right now? We are going to say nothing. I've learnt my lesson. I can find all the answers later. Meanwhile, I want out of this box. And I'll listen to any voice that promises to help me escape. So, right voice, tell me everything. Steel won't speak. Don't! This argument is pointless. Arlene, we knew you'd want to escape. That's fair enough. After all, you're locked in a concrete box. Sherlock. It would be dangerous for you to escape. The voice on your right is looking for you. Who is the voice on my right? That's why we made it hard for you to escape. But it's your choice. We can't keep you locked up here. Tell us out loud that you want to escape and we'll let you. I haven't talked up to this point. I'm not talking now. She knows what's up. I don't actually. Why don't you explain what's going on? I will. Arlene, your prosthetic hand is connected directly to your mind. That's why you're able to use it just like any ordinary hand. But it also means that if your hand is hacked, your mind can very easily be controlled. So what? Who cares what I do with my mind? Making you a very useful tool. So I'm a tool now. Excellent! You look human, but you're really more like an AI. This keeps getting more and more flattering. Imagine the kind of power a government with thousands of your kind would have. Mindless slaves. That's what the voice on your right is seeking. That's what the voice on your left is seeking. Honestly, I think you're both seeking it. You think I trust either of you? I don't. I don't even trust myself. Um, if you speak, they'll have enough data to control you. If you escape, they can instantly capture you. It's your choice. Who are you going to listen to? This is a bad deal all round. But if I escape, I have a better chance than if I stay locked up here. So escape it is. The right voice is telling me to escape. The left voice is telling me I can escape if I talk. I'm going for the right voice for now. I hope I'm making the right choice. But how do I acknowledge which voice I'm listening to? We can see you. Walk to whichever side of the room you prefer. Right? See that? I promise you're going to regret this, Arlene. You don't know who they are. Well, it's not like I know who you are either. You can call me Kay. And you can call me Al. What imaginative names. You're going to follow my directions, right? Not, I guess. What else can I do? Good. The first step is getting you out of this room. I warned you that would happen if you try to escape. Can I really trust either of these voices? No, no you cannot. Who's telling the truth? You want to get out, don't you? What happens when I get out? Will I be captured again? 
Will I have to live the rest of my life trying not to get captured? When do you get out? What will you do? Burn forever? Maybe you really can read my mind. We'll take care of that. By erasing everything that makes you Arlene. By destroying your enemies. No! What is this? Some kind of crazy mind game? On second thought, that's exactly what this is. The building you're in was run by Al. I've never been there, but I can see everything. I've hacked the security cameras, monitors, and speaker system. So there are speakers in here somewhere. Where? The first thing to do is shut off the other voice you're hearing. I can't block them, but you can manually disable the left speakers. Do I really want to do that? Look to your left. There's a button in the wall, shaped like a triangle. I know it's dark in there. Look carefully. It should be at eye level, just to your left. I'm in this for now. Triangle shaped button. Got it. What's going to happen now? Push it to disable the left speaker. Is it really a good idea to commit to one voice? What if both are right? What if both are wrong? What should I do? I think we should leave both speakers enabled. I really think we should. We're gonna leave both enabled, I think. Are you sure you want that voice ringing in your head? I like to hear both my options. Thank you. Don't disable me. You'll need my help to stay away from Kay when you get out. I'm so confused. Who should I be listening to, really? Well, fine. I was hoping that disabling Al would help you trust me a little more, but that's okay for now. You probably noticed there's a trap door in the ceiling. That building you're in wasn't originally designed for keeping somebody prisoner. Stop, fam. So there's an emergency exit. Disable! Al is trying to shut me out from the system. I might lose you for a little while, but I'll be back. Button, right wall, hurry! No choice. If this is the way out of here, I hope this works. When you get out, there won't be anyone in the building. We were forced to evacuate because of Kay. And we can't come because the building is rigged with explosives. Did somebody say explosives? Unfortunately, Arlene, that would have been dangerous for us. We'll be dangerous for you too. We'd rather let you die than be captured by Kay. Believe me, you'd thank us for that if you knew. Al has already refused to remove the explosives. And Kay has already refused to come rescue you. We're at a stalemate. Please be careful when you come out. You should reconsider this. Too late to reconsider. Pushing the button. The trap door is opening. And there's a ladder. Time to go up, I guess. And don't touch anything that looks like it might explode. So, here I am. Now what? Good job. They're still here? Well, Kay is still here. Be careful what you touch. They're both still here. Excellent. I think. Go right. Go left. There are few explosives to the left. Right is the way out. There's also an exit to the left. I have a personal interest in making sure you stay alive, Arlene. Not least because I think you're a nice girl and don't deserve any of this, hmm? I hope I don't deserve this. I messed up big time if I do. So go left. It's safer. Go right. My choice again. Which way should I go? Um... You know, we've trusted right once. Why don't we trust left once? It's pretty dark to the left. I wonder if this is really a good idea. Good job! I'm glad you're willing to take my advice once in a while. Don't get used to it. I don't even know who you are. 
Go back, Arlene! Go back, you're walking into a trap! It's really dark. I don't know. Should I go back? I don't know, actually. Do I trust myself? Not particularly. Do I tr mm, I'm gonna go back. Right it is. I hope this is the right decision. It's hard to tell. And who is K? Who is Al? Are they people? Computers? Aliens? My imagination is running away with me now. I have to pay attention. I might be walking on a bomb for all I know. Watch your step. No need to tell me. Once you get to the end of the hallway, turn right again. No, I place bombs to the right. Turn left. Did you really? He might be telling the truth. There's no direct exit that way, I think. Okay, Arlene, go left at the end of the hallway. Left? Really? How are you going to know, Arlene? You picked K as your guide. K is now lost. I'm not lost. I know every inch of that building. I say you should go right. Didn't you just say you put bombs going right? This is why I can't trust you. I can't trust any of you. I mean, there's also the fact you kidnapped me. Why should she believe you? You said you'd rather she die than escape. So I did. But I'm starting to sympathize with you, Arlene. And I said what we couldn't keep you here against your will. So if you really want to leave, that's up to you. Go right. Go left. Ugh. Oh. I have absolutely no information to base this choice on. Kay wants to help me escape, I'm sure. But he or she doesn't know where I am. Al wants me to stay here, but he or she said it's okay if I want to escape. Al claims to be on my side. Hey, there's also a passage that goes straight. Nero voice mentioned that. You see the passage right in front of you. Don't go down there. Hey is right. Don't go that way. Okay. Is it true that both voices want to kill me? Or is one of them trying to help me? I wish I knew who they were. You know what? I trust nobody, so let's go straight. Straight it is. The direction nobody wanted me to choose. I guess I'll find out. Whoa! I died. I told you to be careful, and I told you we'd rather you die than fall into their hands. No, oh, you cursed beings! You actually didn't want me to go straight. I shouldn't have done it. Okay, so we're back. Uh, clearly right is death. And didn't they say they we can't trust them? So we're gonna have to go left. We're going left. Left it is. The direction Al didn't want me to choose. I guess at this point, I really have taken a side. I'm on Kay's side, but I'm not sure everything Kay says is true. I just know we've got two different color eyes. Is that because of the arm? In fact, I'm almost sure it's not. So does that mean I have to use Kay to escape and Al to stay away from Kay? Something like that. This is a delicate balance. I'm terrified of making a mistake. If I make a mistake, I die. Actually, it's worse than dying. I lose myself. Happy? I know where you are now. You did a good job. That's the right way. You should have gone the other way. Well, too late now, Al. Talk to me once I get out of here. Keep me away from Kay. But... I have to stay away from you too. Are you even real? Are you the same person? What's going on? Hey, there's a side door here. You see the side door? Are they already controlling my mind? Don't go in there, whatever you do. I don't particularly care if you go in. You might find something useful, but I don't really remember what's in there. It's a trap. How oh, stupid, it's a closet. Trap. Closet. Kay sounds really desperate to make sure I don't go in there. 
That's odd, because Kay wasn't worried about which direction I took at either intersection. They seem calm until now. Maybe that's a sign I shouldn't go in. Or maybe it's a sign I should go in. Al doesn't seem to have an opinion either way. That means it's unlikely to be a trap. I think. I'm nosy, let's enter the room. I told you, that was a bad idea. It doesn't seem like a bad idea so far. It is a closet, just like Al said. Told you I didn't really matter. Points for Al. What's in here? There's some books in this locker. What is this place? The books. They're all in a language I don't recognize. Looking for a little entertainment? You won't be able to read anything. Hold the book up to your prosthetic hand. Huh? Like this? I don't even know what language that is. Put it back. Wait. Is there a camera in my hand? Is that how they're seeing what I'm doing? She figured it out. Well done, Kay. Does it matter? She needed to know. Yes, Arlene, there's a camera fitted into your hand. I installed it when you were captured. And I hacked it. If they could do that much, then why didn't they mind control me then? You're thinking. You're thinking. If they could do that much, then why didn't they mind control me then? There's a good reason for that. Al needed to hear your voice. No, it's something else. Does it matter? I can ask questions now. But I don't want to take this paper and stuff with me. So I have to ask now. What should I ask? Uh, okay, who are you? There we go. Who are... You. Huh. She's so cute. If we could have told you that, we would. Besides, we're not the ones chasing you. Technically. We're both working on behalf of other... Organisations, say. Right. No more questions. Keep going down the hallway. I'm not quite done looking around. And... Oh! Check this out! It's a huge knife. Almost as long as my forearm. This could be useful. Put that back. Hold on to it. Could be useful. Oh, I'm definitely keeping it. Oh, why would you listen? Come on, keep going down the hallway. Right, I guess it's time. That was 100% worth it. I have a knife now. Continuing down the hallway. Hmm, dead end. You're thinking? Your thinking is a dead end. Pretty obvious. It's not a dead end. Look up. Trap door? The button is on the right wall. No! Al knows perfectly well that button will cut me off. Use the button on the left wall. Hey! That's the button to shut me off! I should look around a bit first. Hmm, I was right. There's also a center button. You have to hit that button after you hit the button on the left. Just hit the center button for heaven's sake. Whatever. Center button it is then. The trap door is opening and a ladder is coming down. Just like the other room. So this time, Al and Kay both lied. Trying to get me to shut the other one off. Who's on my side? Go up. Well, that sounds like a really good idea, Kay. Climbing. This looks exactly like the hallway I just came out of. Did I teleport? Not possible. You're thinking? Stop with the mind games. Seriously? Arlene, from here the directions are easy. Hey! I can't hear either of them now. Hack! 
Los Knick! Lean! Out! Silence! Am I really on my own? What am I going to do? Let me think about this logically. Both Al and Kay were lying to me. It seems like both Al and Kay want to control me using my pathetic. Therefore, the only way to escape both of them is to not have this prosthetic. But wait, isn't it connected to our brain? Are we not going to suffer some kind of brain hemorrhage if we just yank it off again? Isn't it not going to send us into shock or something as if losing a limb would? But it's not detachable. I do have... Uh, I hate even thinking this. I do have the big knife from the room downstairs. Oh, I regret getting this now. I could bleed to death. I could be in horrible pain. Or it could be fine. I have a few other choices though. To the left, the hallway gets brighter. It's natural light too. So I'm guessing that's the exit. Kay could be out there waiting. Arlene! Kay is back? Al is outside the building. Jump out the back window. Window? You have to find it. Go! You must mean down the hallway, where it's brighter. Ah, uh, he's gone again. That idiot, Kay. I'm outside waiting to help you. If you don't find me, Kay will catch you. I can't get around the back because of the bombs. Lean! Connection lost. I have a big decision to make. Possibly my last. Okay, escape the window, escape with the door, escape. Ah, oh, okay. Do either by destroying and removing the prosthetic or without. Shall we just jump from the window to see if I actually will blow up? I was like, can I say this? Boom. Okay, I want to just see what's going to happen if we jump on the window. I'm presuming death. It's a massive jump. 20 feet. This reminds me of my accident. I don't. I don't. I can't. My hands are shaking uncontrollably. I really can't do this. No! I can't keep them still. Idiot! You have to jump. Is that okay? I know you don't know who I am. I know you don't know what's going on. Kay and Al are both your enemies. This is the only way to escape them both. I... I am Kay. Knew it! I don't want to help you, but I have to. After all, I can't let Al catch you, can I? Later, Arlene. Is he gonna chuck me from the window? No! Congratulations on your escape. You're safe, for now. But your special ability will always be a target. Wait! So was my instant death option actually my one chance of escaping? Okay, I wanna go see what would happen if I choose the other two. Okay. We're gonna save this one for last, just because I feel that's gonna be the most brutal. So I escape at the door without removing and destroying your prosthetic. Boom. I'm not going to maim myself. Hopefully I can get away. Hopefully. There are too many people. People, guards, I don't know what. Everywhere. I can't get away. Not a chance. I should have listened to Al. I should have done something differently. I... Game over. Okay, wait, what would happen if I removed the prosthetic? I can't believe I'm even thinking about this. I can't. I can't do this. It took me so long to get here. And now I'm going to maim myself? You idiot! Oh, it's Kay again, sorry. Oops. What are you trying to do? Maim yourself for life? That already happened once. I hate to say it, but I really am on your side. If I can't have you, Al can't either. So, you took the knife from me. Smashed it on my hand. It doesn't hurt. It 
never had any feeling. It's broken all over the floor. My arm has wires hanging out of it. But the prosthetic is shattered. Much better than lopping off your arm. Now leave. You're safe from Al if you don't have your prosthetic. Are you? I'm Kay. Don't ask any more questions. It's not important. As long as nobody can recreate their prosthetic, you're safe. I never wanted this. I was forced to. Sorry, it's not important. Should I... Could he help me? Oh, wait, okay. Do we want the creeping creeper K to come with us or not? You know what, why not ask him to come with us? He smashed our hands. You want... You, tr you trust me? I tried to kill you multiple times. Oh, I, I'm perfectly aware of that, thank you. Well, there's no reason for you to kill me now, is there? Come on, let's just get out of here. I'm sorry. Congratulations on your escape. You even made a new friend. You're safe forever now. Wait, I've got a safe forever ending? There's multiple endings? Wait, so what happens if I don't ask him to come with us? Do I get another safe for now? What happens to you? Me? Who cares? Just go. You don't have much time. Congratulations on your escape. you find out much later. Kay was killed trying to prevent Al from following you. But does it matter? You're safe forever now. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if there's any of the endings but those three. So I don't think there's going to be any endings when we meet Al. Oh, wait, I'm going to do a quick one just to work out what happens if we turn Al off. Okay, so we disable the left speaker. I pressed it. Well done! Now it's safe to talk. Finally! Let's start with an easy one. Who are you? Ah, uh, thank you. I was just waiting to hear your voice. You've got to be kidding me. That's all I needed to take control. Goodbye, Arlene. You betrayed me, Kay! Like I knew you would, but still! I'm really sorry. This is the only way to save you. One day, you and the rest of the world will thank me for this. Thank you for what exactly? I'm sorry. There's no need to, for you to see anymore. You know what? I no longer feel bad about getting you killed, Kay. I can't trust you. I could never have trusted you. All the remorse is gone. I'm glad you died. Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of Control. Good was saying. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be signing up to get an AI prosthetic anytime soon. Actually, who am I kidding? Of course I'd do it. That sounds insanely cool. I'd have to naturally lose the limb, though. As always, if you want to check out the game, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you enjoyed your time here, then please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, hope you have a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.